y'all it's Steph and I'm back with another video. Y'all, today I'm on my way out to run some errands. So I'm going to do an outside mukbang. I'm going to either try, I think I'm going to do the Burger King Fiery Mini. So if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out some of the content. If you like it, please subscribe and follow me on TikTok, y'all, at Steph Loves Love. All right, y'all, let's go. Everybody come here. It was zero people in Burger King line until I got ready to drive my ass in the drive thru. That's fine. My food needs to be hot then since there's so many people here. I got tacos? Should I try a taco? I'm scared. Uh, one second, please. Okay. I'm ready. She didn't even say okay. Yes, do you guys have a fiery fish sandwich? No. Okay. Can I have the fiery wrap and the nuggets, the fiery buffalo nuggets? Okay. Do you have any other fiery thing? Um, no. Okay, what a, um, can I have a taco? Yes. Uh, small fries? Thank you. Oh, hello? Yes, anything else? Can I have the frozen cotton candy cloud? A small one? Okay. Anything else? No, that's it. Alright y'all, I got a bunch of shit that I've never tried. Now one thing about Burger King, the last few times I've tried some of their new, some of their new stuff, it was good y'all. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Let's see if she's still going to be rude up here. Hello. Hello. It's 1989 It's one diet and one uh, frozen uh, candy. Yeah. This yeah. Okay. And the ketchup? Oh, buffalo. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, thank you. She was a whole different person at the window, y'all. She pissed me off on the um, intercom. Well, I guess she was busy because she was she was nice. Okay, so sometimes you got to give people a second chance. It's fine. Okay. She won me over at the window. Hopefully it's good. I'm so hungry, you guys. Oh, my God, I'm hungry. It's almost 4 p.m. I've been up working since 8 had time to even eat the egg or nothing lawnmower oh well y'all have to hear a little sound in the back he, he should be done fast all right y'all so I got, some fresh fries. I got these just in case everything else is not good because i need something i didn't even know burger king had tacos we're gonna be trying that today you guys here it is it's giving, I tried to make Jack in the Box tacos. That's what it's giving. But I'm not gonna lie, they look a lot better. The stuff looks fresher. It looks like they, did they put a hamburger patty on this shit? I don't know, but it's giving Jack in the Box remake. I was trying to get all the fiery stuff because that's what I saw that was new. So I got the fiery nuggets. And then I got a fiery buffalo chicken wrap. This looks sauced up. Okay. I really wish I could have done this at home, but I don't have a Burger King real close. So this stuff would have been so cold <laughs> by the time I got back home with it. All right. Let me jump right into these nuggets. Since they're sitting right here, I should have got some ranch. All right. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. They definitely taste fast food quality. The spice is really good though. Mm. I wish I had a a good ranch. I don't think I like their ranch, but I like the chicken fries. Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> it's good with the buffalo sauce. I like these. They look real fake. So I'm a little nervous. But the flavor is good. It's giving baked chicken. But I mean, what do we expect is Burger King, y'all? Oh, you know what I want? I'm going to try this uh, frozen. It's called, damn, what was it called, y'all? I'm going to type in it. Well, I'm not going to type it in because I already said it. It's frozen cotton candy cloud. So you can just get the frozen cotton candy. And that's just the, the blue slushy. Or you can make it a cloud. And this is some kind of cream. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. 
Oh, I like that a lot, y'all. What I really like about it is it's not a super strong cotton candy flavor. And it's also not really, really, really sweet. But it's sweet, though. Mmm. That's good. I tried to drink from somewhere recently. It was so good. I don't think this is on that level. Whatever that drink was, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about because I was in love. It's not a, it's not as good as that, but it's this is really good. Mm -hmm. That's a thumbs up. I really want to try this taco, y'all, but I'm going to skip. I mean, I'm going to go to the, this buffalo. This buffalo chicken wrap. They got lettuce, buffalo sauce, this ugly tomato, nah. this raggedy looking tomato, y'all. And then the buffalo chicken strip that's not even as long as the tortilla is. That's fine, though. They got a lot of sauce, too. They put a lot of the buffalo. Mm. So it's messy. All right, here we go. Oh, that's rough. Let me get, get one more bite. Mm. Just to make sure. Mm. That's rough. Mm -mm. Oh, no. I'm sorry, y'all. I did not like that. <coughs> Let's put that away. <coughs> the buffalo flavor is cool. I think they have way too much sauce on it. And it seemed like the chicken was overcooked. It was like a kind of burnt this piece of chicken. I didn't like that. They need to take that off the menu. Mm. Maybe y'all need to slow down on putting new stuff up. This last couple things is really good. I don't think y'all took the time to focus group. Definitely not that rap. I think this taco, this taco has been around, isn't it? Is this ketchup, y'all? Alright, I'm just gonna I'm not even gonna add nothing to it yet. Huh. Okay. It's not bad, y'all. I feel like they got too much meat in here, though. Because it, it was just, like, soggy and mushy. You know? It has a similar texture to the Jack in the Box tacos, but I think they put too much meat. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, that bite gave dog food right there. Mm -mm. All right, we're gonna do one bite with hot sauce. And whew, I think I'm done with this taco. Mm -mm. No, that's a hell no. Uh uh. My first bite was okay. But, oh, mm -mm, Burger King, take them tacos off. So, from everything that I had today, I'm going to say yes for the nuggets, but they are giving fast food. Yes for this. The candy cane cloud. Candy cane, no. Cotton candy cloud. This is a yes. Absolute no. Ugh, for that taco and that wrap. Mm -mm. That's a no. No, 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 no. So, y'all, real quick, I'm going to do a viewer topic. I generally read it off my phone, but I'm recording on my phone, so I have to paraphrase stuff. She has been with her husband. No, she's been with her fiance for eight years. She said that he gets along with her family, but she doesn't necessarily get along with his family. She said there's no beef like that, but they're just not close. His mom passed away two years ago, and he's kind of just now coming out of the depression and grieving his mom when he just found out that his brother has brain cancer the brother went to the hospital had to have emergency surgery so now the, the, the brother is in the hospital he's taking over all of the brother's like financial stuff and you know taking care of all his business this mother go away the gardener, first of all, came over here. Not only is he loud in my video, he blew all the leaves on the top of my car. Like, really? 
So he's taking care of all the brother's stuff. And he basically wants to get rid of the brother's apartment. Have the brother move in with her and him. They have a guest room, so you know it's not like he's gonna be on the sofa. That's cool. But she's like, okay. First of all, she said him and his family are very clean, and she's a very clean person. She's already cleaning up after her fiance. She said one time the brother, I mean, one time her fiance went to his brother's house, came back with a roach. Oh my god! And she's just like, I don't want to have to clean up after two grown men. Like, y'all already dirty. He about to come over here. He can't. I mean, you know, he's kind of sick and recovering. So, he's going to need all the help. Um, probably. What else? Oh, and then she also said that, in addition to that, of course, the other family members are probably going to want to come see the brother. So, that means she's going to have more company that she don't want over there. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, oh, shit. So, she's like, I want to tell him that I don't want his brother to come live here. But I don't want to seem insensitive to everything that's going on. What do y'all think? It's definitely going to get insensitive. No matter what. Who's going to think it's insensitive? I don't know if the brother is like in a terminal situation. Or if he just wants to help him out for a while until he recovers or what. But given the fact that his mom just died two years ago. He was getting over that. I'm sure he wants to be close to his family. Especially people that are sick. And may not be here very long. So... For me, I would, even though I might have similar feelings as far as, you know, deep down inside, it's like, you know, we can't act like stuff ain't a burden when it is. You know what I mean? We can't act like that. But I probably wouldn't say anything. And I would let, I mean, I would let him have his brother live there because that's his brother. And who knows how long he's going to be here. Who knows how long, how long they're going to have together. And also the brother probably does need help. I mean, sometimes you have to sacrifice your comfortability and even peace or whatever you know for a little while to help other people you do even though you don't want to it's probably gonna be hard but just think about it, if that was you you want people to be there for you to help you and you know take care you know that's that's what family and friends are for you know i mean that's part of it i say suck it up i would have a talk with him and be like you know I like things to stay clean and tidy and you bring your brother here. I'm going to help you, but you need to help me make sure this place is staying nice and clean. Make sure you ain't bringing no roaches from his house because <laughs> I, I wouldn't want that either. I mean, you know, just because you're compromising for somebody doesn't mean they don't need to make sure things are going to be comfortable enough or as, as much as they can for you either. That don't mean you just accept anything because of you now infested with roaches and they going crazy not cleaning up after themselves no everybody has to chip in and make the situation as comfortable for everybody as possible okay and that's what i would explain to him help me make sure make this at the best experience for us all that we can that we can possibly you know but yeah i mean that's your fiance you've been with him for eight years you gotta support a different thing that's gonna happen in in somebody's life y'all about to get married so <laughs> Come on. Come on, wife. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen in life, honey. What about when it's time for him to support something that's going on with you and your family that he don't want to do? You still got to do it. Have a conversation and get out everything you need to all of your concerns. Okay? And just like you are doing what you need to do, he should step up and do what he needs to do to help you feel good about, you know, the whole situation. Okay, boom. So... Let her know what comments y'all have. If anybody disagrees with me and is more on her side, let her know. Because, you know, we all have different perspectives. So, maybe somebody's saying, just leave them. Go live your life. You know, can you imagine not letting your brother come? The resentment that he's going to have towards you? That's, like, not even an option to me. I don't know. Anyway, bye, y'all. All right, y'all. Till next time, on your life.